Hmm. Guys, it is just like I described it to you. Brussels sprouts are amazing. They soak in whatever spices, sauces, or aromatics you throw into them. I know there are hundreds of recipes available online for Brussels sprouts, but I'm doing this version because I think how I create my Brussels sprouts is sort of a perfect melange of spicy, tangy, savory, and sweet flavors coming together. It almost gives you a picklish kind of feeling. So I have around one kg of Brussels sprouts here. However, I'll be using half of it only for this recipe. I've already washed, cleaned and drained and sort of pat dried the Brussels sprouts already. What we're going to do is chop off the, the base of it and just split it into half. Like so. Cut the base and split it into half. Now that these Brussels sprouts are nicely chopped, we're going to bring in the skillet. This is essentially a one pot dish. What we're going to do is throw in the Brussels sprouts. And to this, we are going to basically add all our spices. Like I mentioned, sweet, savory, spicy and tangy, all the sauces together first. Very important salt. I'm using some nice granulated kosher salt. And trust me, this is not a lot because kosher salt, because of its granulated texture, holds very less salt and it gives your vegetable a crunchy taste. Then comes pepper. I'm using just a touch of black pepper, not much, very little chili flakes. And then I'm adding some maple syrup. And then a dash of white vinegar. Then I'm going to add just a dash of garlic paste and finally extra virgin olive oil. I'm being a bit generous and then finally I'm going to use my hands and give it a good toss so that the Brussels sprouts gets a good massage and then we'll just pop it into the oven. Let's do it together. Now that my Brussels sprouts are soaked in this amazing spices, we'll pop this into the oven. The oven has been already preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll just let it be there for around 35 to 40 minutes. Everyone's oven is different. Uh, this is what I prefer for my oven. Let's get started. So my Brussels sprouts are ready. What I did was I broiled it for three to four minutes so that I can get this charred look and also gives a very delicious flavor to the whole dish. Now let's give this a try. I'll be serving the Brussels sprouts with some roasted chicken. Like so. I just wish you guys could smell this and taste this. Mm. Mm. Guys, it is just like I described it to you. The sweetness of maple syrup is quite prominent. Of course, the white vinegar, the salt and, and red chili flakes and the black pepper has just made this amazingly savory. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my process of making Brussels sprouts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.